This is a Minecraft LMS 2F, and we're going to build it today because no one else has done it yet. Doing it for, pe for the people here. Yo, welcome back to Barbro Channel. Yeah, we're doing tutorials now. It's probably the first of only a handful, but yeah. Let's get into it straight away, okay? So, a little bit of history in a class. The LMS 2F dot tanks were built by the LMS in. I don't know when, but I'll put, probably put up on screen if I find it. And yeah, eventually by. Definitely by the 60s, they are all scrapped, but they mainly worked on dockyards and stuff, and they were pretty small little guys. Let's get into it. So here in this chest is everything you will need to build this. Great concrete, mango planks, like gray concrete. Note that the gray stuff, like light gray, gray concrete, and these anisite stair and slab, those won't really be necessary. You can just build this with any color of your choice, because in real life, these engines were mainly seen in black livery so and if i tried building it in black it will be nearly impossible to follow as everything blends in so for the second tutorial and keep everyone sane and myself included we're gonna build this in gray so yeah this will be a rather interesting tutorial it's my first one this isn't really scripted or anything so i do apologize i end up stumbling and going or going back and forth between the builds and shit so yeah, what you want to do is find where you want to build it and go three blocks above the track, like so. And go to that way and do this way. So it's a five block long thing being centered with the little sleeper in his rail. And then you want to go underneath that and build, put in mangrove slab. Just a little note, you don't have to build as a mangrove, I just use this as it's a good red block to use. I can blend in pretty well. And then you want to go in with your red brick, nether brick wall, like so. For here is a buffer beam, buffer housing thing. And then oak trap, dark oak trap door, sorry, for the actual buffer itself. You can always put like Minecraft pistons, but I prefer these as they look a little cleaner. And then you want to go in with your polished, um, deep slate wall. And it's down here for your little coupling. It's like a little styled, like American coupling. It's like a knuckle coupling. You can always use like levers and chains and all that, but I prefer this. And then you want to go from here, you want to go 16 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This will make a total of 17 so far. And with adding this block, makes a total of 18 blocks wide. And like the front half, you want to do the same thing here. Five wide here. Then you go in here, slab as always, and then block there. Name wall there, sorry, wall there, and same thing as the front, like so. And knuckle there, and then you want to go in with your if you can find it, your one and only good friend, the cobbled deep slate stairs so I use these as these are easier to find in survival mode and just go in right after the buffer beam if I can move like that this will make it like slope off a little bit as, before it gets to like the solid square because it looks it'll look a little weird with that so. and just go along this at the bottom make it a too tall thing and right when you get to the end you want to place in your cobbled deep slate stair right there and this should probably be done before your sleepers, but then you want to go on afterwards and after that stair, you want to put in slabs sliding all the way to the back before that other stair in the front. And not mess up like I did. So, um, let's go all the way back. Just line this out for this chassis. Okay. And there we go. Okay, that is our chassis done so far. Now we want to go here with two mangrove planks there, and two on this side as well. This is where the marking for our piston will go. I'll get into that why it's like that later. And then with mangrove slab, just go all the way back to the end. Wait, wait. Like so, if I can, there we go. All the way back, and then before we get to the last block, add a mangrove stair right there upside down. This will be a little more of a slope off when it gets there. And you want to freeze on the inner side as well. So, and go flanks, slabs all the way back, like so. And then your mangrove stair upside down here. Okay, that is our running board. 
And now this is a different part, this is a little weirder. But since we're using a a half block instead of a full block, this little gap here will be a little more noticeable and immediately empty. So to prevent that, we are going to fill this in with a dark color block. You don't have to use this kind of block, but I recommend using a dark color block to blend in a little more. In this case, I'm using polished deep slate brick slab. Polished deep slate, sorry. And just filling in the gap here. This also gives you a steady, firm foundation where you can make your base if you choose to live in this in your survival world, if you do that. Yeah. Just fill it in like so, and boom. Okay, that is our running board done. And now we are going to move into the smoke box. Okay, so, um, like that, that, that. Go up four. I'll leave a gap there, and then, um, you got these, you don't need these anymore. Shit. Black stone staircase there, there, and here. And here, this gives it a little saddle looking thing. Which makes it a little more rounded for the smoke box. Like so, and then another staircase here. And here. Okay. And then. For the smoke box door, you want to take your polished D slate and then your chiseled polished blackstone. Your polished blackstone here. Wait, Put your chiseled deep slate and blackstone there in the center, and then there, there, here, and here, your four corners with polished blackstone. Then go in with your polished blackstone stairs and just line it out like so. Not upside down. And that is your smoke box door completed. I like how it gives a little face here with the chiseled, a little more character, if you will. And then for your final, you can just do it like that. Now this next part's totally optional, but what I prefer to do is I grab a campfire, I place it on top of here, and then I just line it around with um, dark trap oak trap doors, make it a little more smoky effect. Let's see, oh, I can. And then, three, four, here we go, here we go. And so it makes a little smoke as well. Plus, if you really want to, you can always like do it like this and all the way around. It. Make it too tall one with trap doors. Make it hollow, make it even extra tall with the hay bale on the bottom, which can always work as well. Make it a little higher smoke. But anyway, so that is your smoke box door completed. And while we're here, we'll just go in and add the lamp iron. One there, and the lamp will go here. Don't think they have the room for one here, so we just add two of them. Anyway, so um, you're not gonna need the campfire, and then we just go in with our color block of choice, in this case being light gray, and then just line it out like so. Don't need a center block here, but I'm just gonna put it for the video. And then you just go here, 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 and here like that. That's your block, and then. Then you just start your tanks, you just extend the water tanks like that, kind of. We can just start from the ground up here. So there's three high, two that way, and another layer two in the bottom of that. And so as you begin your tanks, and you go, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. It's gonna look a little weird for now, but trust me, it'll come together later on once it's done. So, and just make it match on this side as well. Like that, and one, two, three, six, I believe. Yeah, it's six. Just like that, and then just line it out like that. And just leave it there, like that. Actually, this has to be seven. Apologize. So for the boiler, you can place your dome around one, two, three, four. Hold relatively centered, and then you just go and add your fire boxes, two by three here, like so. And that is your main boiler and water tanks. Now for the cab, It'll be very similar. To Crafty Fox's Tom's tutorial and Percy, 
respectively. So it's like this, go three up. And then two more this way. Like so then add one there and there. Wait, so sorry, it actually goes one, two, three here. Sorry, I accidentally had four. Here, here. And this has to go one more. Actually, my bad. There we go. And then we what's it called? Well done the coal this time. Okay, let's grab your block of coal. Grab a lot of coal. And just fill it in this gap here. Okay, slab there, slab here. And then just line in with slab except for the corners. I can fly, that'd be great. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And just add in upside down staircase like that. Here. A little waste block there, just so I'm creative, so. And here. Okay, that is your bunker, main, for the most part, the, all of it done. And now let's do the windows. This is gonna be a little tricky, so, um, inside stair there, and then another one on top of it, like this. So it looks like a C or a Lego hand, if you will. And same on the other side, just like so. Boom, like that. And then you add three more here, one in the middle. And then let's get our trap doors out. Add one here and one here. This gives it a two window look it has in real life. So you have like a one skinny window here and the one big one. So it's had a two skinny windows on the sides and the two bigger ones in more in the middle. Then you take your oak fence and just place it there for the whistle. That's I believe is the only oak plank we need. And then you get your polished blackstone slab and just line it out here. Let's see. Makes it three wide. Yeah. And then four. No wait, yeah. One. Please. Oh man, I messed up. So sorry, I accidentally moved the, had the firebox back too far, so I had to move it a block ahead. So make this, yeah. Whatever number I said for the boiler and all that stuff, just minus one, and it's gonna look like this by this point. Just know that this roof should be four long and three wide. All right, so same thing here, there, window here, window there, that. And then those are our main little ed window edges. So we go back here with the gray concrete and just repeat similar process on the other in the front. And then in our trap door is like so. Again, the two windows that are different, two sizes of windows. Okay, and then we go in with our oak. It doesn't have to be oak, but I use this as a good like lining kind of color. And just go on like so. It'll end up being corner pieces, but it'll be perfectly fine as it'll only be noticeable from this side where you see it. So yeah, and your stairs like that, like upside down and right side up, and then an oak slab here. And the same for the other side. So one here, one there, and an oak slab here. Okay, and then we grab our black concrete, I mean not concrete, carpet, sorry. And just go along the edges here. And that is our cab completed. Yep, that is our cab for this engine completed. And next thing we want to do, while we have the, con the carpet, sorry, is we go along this edge here, and we give it a flat, I mean the black top running board, kind of like in the Railway series, and common in real life as well. Oh yeah, and then before we go anywhere else, we need to take our gray concrete, the normal gray, and then just fill in all that empty space in the bottom. This is that way it's a little bit darker and I'm blending a little bit better instead of being the same color block. It's a little less noticeable and it looks more united at the same time. Okay, anyways, so that's it is the main body done. Now we can move on to the wheels. The wheels and the piston. The piston is a very important part of this. So for the piston we go, wait, shit, sorry. 
we go two blocks on slabs there and then I mean blocks on just there and then two slabs here it has to be a full mangrove plank on top of here as with the slabs it wouldn't mix get as per the 1.19 update still it doesn't work like that never has really so we're just going to live with it our piston is done on this side I gotta repeat that on the other side one two and a one and a two thing okay and then we go four away from that stair and just start building here yeah wait how oh, it goes that yeah and then yeah, like so Maybe a little t-shape looks yeah it's a good that's a good starting part it's good it's good, it's good. okay here and then here with the stairs you can always use stone brick if you want to make like the edge of the wheel but i prefer to keep it solid color so you put your stair here and here on the edges like so and you get your wheels and you repeat the same on the other side as always okay those are our wheels fully ready to go and now for the side rods so just these stone brick slabs and just go along the edge of the wheels like this like so and then you go with the stair here and just follow the edge of the wheel like so until you get to the middle portion of the middle wheel and at this point you would you're going to add a stone brick stair like so gives a little more detail and if you want, you can always go back in the edges and add in a staircase here, if like so. But I usually prefer to keep it uh, slab. So I'm just going to keep it slab for the tutorial. So, so you want to keep it like this for the side rods. And as per usual, we have to repeat that on the other side. And those are your side rods. And now, this is going to be nearing the end of the tutorial. So we need to do one thing now. And that is to make the lettering, of course. Here we go. I just made these in a banner really quickly. Tutorials for these letters all over YouTube. So you, if you want, you can always check those out. And you stick them on like so, like this. And repeat on the other side as always. And remember, you have to keep it matching. So it won't look weird and stuff, you know. And I believe... Oh, wait. We forgot one detail. We need to add a final touch and then we can call this guy complete. We need to add his back headlamp and then we go whoop. First thing you always gotta take a stone button, put it sideways like this for the water tank cap. Okay, let's go like that. And with those being placed, this guy is officially complete. Look at him, he's awesome. It's cool. And um, yeah, that's gonna be him. Again, as always, you don't have to build them in gray, but I did it for the tutorial to make it a little easier for you guys to follow it. One of my favorite classes of engine to exist, to be honest. Yeah, it's really cool. I haven't seen anyone make a tutorial on this guy yet. Thank you all for watching this. If you really appreciate it, make sure to subscribe and leave a like for a chance to see more of these in the future. So yeah. Thank you all very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.